Hey guys, even here, so right now we are less than 12 weeks out of Arnold Classic 2024 and we don't know exactly for sure who is doing this show. We know some names and there is a lot of speculation going around but in two days from now, on this Friday, we will get the official list. As you can see right here, Arnold Sports official Instagram page posted that in two days on Friday, we will actually get the final uh, lineup. We're gonna see exactly who is doing the show so we can stop the speculation. Things may change along the way. Some names might be added, some might be out. But uh, right now, like there is a lot of speculation about Hari Chopin. And I believe there might be some truth to it because a lot of people are saying that. For example, Dennis James said it on his podcast that he heard something. On Fuad Abiyad's podcast, I believe it was Ian Valier or maybe James Hollingshead who said that they also heard a rumor that he might be doing it, that Hadi might be doing the Arnold Classic. No, they didn't say that they read it somewhere like on some Instagram page or something like that. No, they actually said they heard a rumor. Somebody told them. And if they're saying it like that openly on a podcast that gets 100,000 views, then there is probably something to it. So, Hadi posted this, uh, this video. And I gotta say, first of all, I'm really happy to see that Hadi is actually active on social media. His stories, there is always something, and he's posting a lot of stuff, which is really uncommon for Hadi. So, why is this? Well, maybe... He thought that he was robbed because he was inactive on social media and he decided to start posting. So he's doing some posts. Uh, he speaks, of course, in uh, Farsi. He doesn't speak English, but there is translation. So I'm really glad to see him trying, at least trying. You know, being out there, posting something. I wish he would learn English. I think that's also not that difficult. But it's a good start. He's posting stuff. So he posted this video. It's a posing video. Here in the caption, he says, Today I am sick and tired, but I am stubborn. Meaning, it doesn't matter how you feel. You still have to get the job done. So he's trying to motivate us. Which, again, is nice. He's trying. And it's also very, very interesting that he posted this video right after Big Ramy posted his video of basically hitting the same poses. Big Ramy just posted a video of himself doing the side chest and the most muscular. And right after him, the next day, Hadi posted basically the same video in which I gotta say he looks a lot better. Of course, the angle of the pose is different and the Hadi is a lot shorter. Not a lot shorter, but he's definitely shorter. And also, Hadi is in the post-show period. And if you guys competed, you know that after the show, I mean, once you blew up, once you eat a lot of food and you fill out your glycogen and you're just full, blasting full, but your skin is still very thin, you're still very lean, that's the period when you look the craziest, especially in the gym. So, of course, he's gonna look more impressed than Big Ramy, but we all know, even on the stage right now, Hadi is far superior than Big Ramy, at least these past couple of shows, unless Big Ramy pulls something magical, something insane, and comes in the way he looked two years ago, Hadi is gonna destroy him if they both do the Arnold Classic. Now, let's check out Hadi's video that he posted. And here it is, so, I mean, he looks insane right now. Like I said, after the show, he filled out, and he's still very lean. As you can see in the lower back there, in the love handles, maybe there is a little bit of something accumulating, but no, not really. He's still shredded, basically. In two weeks from now, I guess he would be stage ready or something like that. So, he's still very lean, but he looks huge right now. And really, I'm not comparing him to Big Ramy. I'm rather comparing this to what Samson Dauda is looking like right now. We all saw what Samson looks like right now in his post-show rebound. And I think Samson is making more progress at this point. So, like I said before, I think Samson is going to improve a lot for the Iron Classic. I think he's going to be a much better version of himself. And Hadi, the way he looks right now, he looks insane here. He looks crazy, but... I don't see any drastic improvements. And I believe the approach of Hunter Ambad is like that. You know, he probably wants him to, you know, rest and recover, refresh his body, and then push it during the prep. 
And Milos Archer has a little bit of a different approach. He likes to utilize the post show rebound. He believes that is basically the most anabolic time. That is a time to grow, to make progress. And it really seems like there is a lot of truth to it. And uh, you guys know that after the show, when you're shredded, your insulin sensitivity is at its highest. And I'm sure they're utilizing that, you know. I'm sure Milos is giving Samson crazy insulin protocols and it looks like it's working. I think he's improving on a daily basis. And honestly, once again, I believe Samson just might defend the title, just might defend the Arnold Classic title. And if he does that, and if Hardy competes and he beats him, then that just leaves Derek. And that's it. Then all Samson needs to do is beat Derek next year and become the best bodybuilder in the world. And if you ask me, I believe that's very, very possible. I don't think Derek is that dominant of a Mr. Olympia. I thought that it was very close between him and Hadi. And there are a lot of gaps that can be exposed by Samson as long as he improves a little bit and comes in a little bit sharper. So this Arnold Classic is going to be very, very interesting. Again, we don't know if Hadi is doing it. There are rumors circling around, but it seems like he most likely is going to be doing it. In my opinion, it would make sense. However, there is this interesting post by Hadi. In the caption here, he says, This robot is under repair. What does that mean? Well, obviously, it means that he is recovering now from the prep. But what kind of recovery are we talking about here? You know, recovery that lasts multiple months or just a couple of weeks before his prep for the Arnold Classic starts? It could mean both things, maybe just November, entire November after Mr. Olympia and December, two months is enough for him to recover, to rest up and then start a new prep for the Arnold. Or maybe he's going to take a longer time off and really focus on regaining his Mr. Olympia title. But once again, I think it makes sense for him to do the Arnold Classic because he will probably win it. Let's be real. I mean, I wish Samson could beat him. It would be an amazing story. I believe he can do it, but on paper, Hadi is the favorite. He would probably win how much? Like $300,000 or even more potentially? You know, that's a lot of money and that's a big, big title. So if he has the opportunity to do it, then we all know basically that Derek is not going to be doing it. It would be foolish for him not to do it. I don't see a reason for Hardy not doing the Arnold Classic. But once again, we might find out in two days from now. You guys tell me down below, what do you think? Here is another guy who is also doing the Arnold Classic. I mean, he is not on the official list yet, but he applied and they will definitely put him up there. He is one of the guys that, you know, might be in that top three potentially. James Collinshead, this is his physique update, and he looks great. You guys know that he uh, partnered up with Milos Archev. Milos is coaching him now as well. So I'm expecting, you know, some solid progress from James, not just because he's working with Milos, but also because he took an entire year off. He didn't compete last year at all. So basically, that's going to be a year and a half between shows and that's a long time, and usually when that happens, guys make a lot of progress. In the meantime, while he wasn't competing, James had a gyno surgery, and he's opening up this gym right here with his partner Jordan Peters. So it's not like he spent all this time off trying to improve his physique, but I still, I, I know he still trained hard and he probably ate on the regimen, so I believe he still made a lot of progress. This is basically the video right now of him you know, rowing four plates with ease, I would say, so he's incredibly strong, he's one of the biggest bodybuilders today, he's like in 270s on stage, and he's not like that tall, I think he's like 5 foot 9, so once again, it depends on who else is in the lineup, but this guy could be, you know, top 3, I can see him up there, with a little bit of improvements, with Milo Sharchev in his corner, with all his size and freak factor and uh, work ethics as well. He can be, you know, up there for sure, if you ask me. He was third at the Arnold Classic UK last year, and this year he might be top three at the real <laughs> Arnold Classic, Arnold Classic Ohio. So somebody, actually this uh, Instagram page, uh, who is the best bodybuilder, posted this. They tagged the James, as you can see right here. Here are some of the names that might be on that list on Friday. So, I mean, if you exclude the Samson from the conversation, he's probably going to win the show. Or at least, you know, be in the top spots, first or second probably. 
you have Horse MD, you have James Hollinshed, you have Raphael Brandau, and you have Martin Fitzwater doing this show, and all these, actually, there is also a carried Baggio, but he's a 212 guy, I won't really bet on him in this group right here, but as far as the other four guys, I have no idea who would place where. James beat Martin once, but Martin wasn't at his best, Martin's Texas Pro version was really dangerous, and if he is improved, that's gonna be a really dangerous bodybuilder, Rafael Brandau was 10th at a Mr. Olympia, and uh, Horse MD just beat Nathan Diasha and really looked amazing, next to Samson and some great bodybuilders, so, you know, James is there, who is also a really good bodybuilder, so I don't know, I have no idea who would place where, it would make a really competitive lineup, but I think there are other bigger names that are gonna be added to the list the day after tomorrow once again. As far as the Arnold Classic money, hopefully it's gonna be the same like last year, 300,000, that would be amazing, that is a lot of money, but as far as the New York Pro, we got an announcement, it's gonna be increased actually, it's gonna go from 10k to 20k for the Open Class winner, of course, and also a $5,000 ring. So, yeah, that's also a really nice news, and as far as the New York Pro, there are also some names doing this show this year that we know of, I believe James Hollingshead might be doing that show as well, I know that he is focused on Arnold Classic, and that's the show that we know he wants to do, but maybe he's gonna jump into the New York Pro, but as far as the guys that we know are doing this show, one of them is the winner of the third callout, if you consider uh, Michael Crizo a second callout guy, because he was moved up and he ended up at the end of the second callout with uh, Andrew Jack, Brandon Curry and Hunter Labrada, but as far as this lineup right here, without Crizo, uh, Tony Burton actually ended up as the winner, he was 8th uh, place at a Mr. Olympia, and he is the guy doing the New York Pro this year, actually next year, here you can see what he looks like right now after the Mr. Olympia, and he still has that crazy round bubbly look, he probably went off for a moment, you know, let his body rest and recover, and soon his prep is gonna start for the New York Pro, and who knows, maybe he jumps into the Arnold Classic as well, maybe that's a possibility, but he will probably be the favorite to win the New York Pro, as for now, as for the names we know so far, they're calling this guy New Dexter Jackson, because he has very similar shape to Dexter, he's a smaller guy, he used to be a 212 competitor, but he grew, like, he got bigger, and look at those freaking shoulders and like that pop everywhere, the 3D, he really has that going for him, so you guys tell me in the comment section down below, what do you think, is he the favorite for the New York Pro, maybe because of this new prize money increase, we're gonna see more interest in New York Pro, you guys tell me what do you think, is Hadi Chopin doing this show, and if he does the show, if he does the Arnold Classic, can he win, or can Samson beat him? Whatever you think guys, please let me know down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel guys, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best and bye bye.